I think the easiest way for you to understand the difference between a website and a sales funnel is for me to just show you a real example. So here is Justin Welsh's website. You can see that it's quite basic. You have here, you know, turn your knowledge to income. Uh, here he has his newsletter and a bit of value proposition who he helps. So for example, in this case, he's, you know, helping solopreneurs and there's just more information about him uh, here. You can see that in the menu, you have about articles. So it's like a hub for everything he has. You have also, again, the newsletter and courses here. So if I click on courses and I click here on this first one, for example, you can see that the URL change. I don't know if you noticed it. Let's go back. You see Justin Welsh and then now it's learned that uh, Justin Welsh. So, so his website is built on one platform and then the landing page for this specific course is built on another platform. I think he's using Kajabi for course related stuff. So here, this is really just about the course and this is just a landing page, but a landing page could be the beginning of sales funnel as well. I'll show you in a second uh, how that could look like. So from here, it's just one pager. You cannot do pretty much, you can't really do anything else except look at the course here. You can't go anywhere else. It just scrolls you uh, to the right sections. Uh, and you could also just start watching the creator MBA. Here's the price and blah, 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 right? Oh, and heads up. My name is Robert and I help creators to sell their knowledge. And hey, stay till the end of this video as I'm going to recommend if you should use a sales phone or a website when you're starting out and what software to use. Now, if you want to find a platform to build a website or a sales funnel without wasting a lot of time, I've created the cheat sheet of my favorite tools and broken down uh, by different needs like price, features, and use case. Check out the first link in the video description where you can download it. Another example here, I have Wes McDowell. He has pretty similar, but in this case, he even focuses more on his uh, newsletter and his products. So if I come here and I click on this, I want a client generating website. Okay, let's click on it. It goes to this landing page. So now if I sign up to this uh, newsletter, I will be put in a sales funnel and I'll show you what do I mean. So this is my workspace and you can see these are the emails from Wes before and you see that I'm when I sign up, this was a few months ago, I get first email. It's about, you know, here's your masterclass video. That's the lead magnet he's providing. So I'm getting free value by just signing up to his newsletter. Then he starts to talk about, you know, other things. Here's the bonus, a fully automated client generation. He starts to pitch his uh, main product, which is also a course in this case. And you can see that this course generated six figure client. It's all related to that course. And then at some point he'll start saying, okay, I'm going to close this course for a bit. You see the door closes tonight. This is, uh, I get most asked. And then he closes it. And after that, I've been transferred to his regular newsletter. And this is kind of his sales funnel. He starts with something simple. He provides value by giving me, me something for free. That's the, uh, that was the webinar. And then he gets my email and he can pitch me his uh, main product. He probably pitches it in the uh, webinar as well, but this is how it works. So I know that was a lot of information. So let me just draw everything. So I think that's going to make it more clear. So I'm just going to switch the, the camera here. So let's take Vess's uh, homepage as an example. So his website, that's the homepage. And then in the menu, you're linked to articles. I, I'm not sure what it was, but let's say there's a article hub here. Then you have the individual articles. There's probably more than three, but you get the point. Then you have some other page here. And then here we had the landing page for uh, the, the sort of product page. So that's the webinar. From here, if I sign up, I start to get emails and not just one email. I'm going to start getting multiple emails. In his case, maybe seven or eight. Let's say it's eight. If I choose to actually click on and buy something from here, usually you have, uh, if you click on the link there, it'll take you to another landing page. This landing page can live anywhere. It could live on your homepage, so it could be connected here or it could be connected to your email news, uh, email newsletter or email marketing tool. It can be connected to anything. It's just a page that talks about that product specifically. And from this page, you have only one exit and that's you buying the product. That's the checkout. So here you would pay for it. Yeah. So if you pay for it, then you get the course. And again, the course itself can be anywhere, right? So uh, is this a play button? Pretend that it's a play button. So that's the course. 
This can be, again, on any other platform. So we already could have three platforms. We have the website, we have um, the uh, landing page and the email platform, and then we have course platform separately. So you can see how it all stacks up. However, if we don't buy from, uh, from this, so that he ends his page, he closes his uh, course, and then we would just go to the normal newsletter. So that's the weekly newsletter. So I would think about funnel as the journey from visitor to a client. So you can see you start from the website or maybe you came from, you know, YouTube or you came from some other sources. You come to the homepage, you come to the landing page, maybe from email directly, and then you go and, you know, purchase it. So it's just a journey. So which one you need more? I think you need both. They work in synergy because your website might have, you know, just the website and different links and information about you, about your brand. And then you have landing pages, which can be really separate, can be specific to a course, can be specific to, uh, I don't know, your one-to-one -one, uh, coaching. And then you have sales funnels. In this case, it was for the course. So it starts with uh, Wes giving uh, away a free webinar. And then from there, he would pitch his uh, main product. Oh, okay, so I hope that helped. And just in terms of my recommendation, if you're just starting out, which one should you choose, a sales funnel or a website? Now, it really depends. Do you need a one place where it's all about your brand and just have a, a few links or maybe contact details where people can uh, reach out to you? Then that would be a website. But if you need something specific, you need to you know, sell a product or maybe you have one-to-one -one calls, then maybe consider a landing page. And if you need even more sales process behind, um, you know, uh, selling your product, if it's, you know, I don't know, something more complicated or higher ticket item, then you would need a sales funnel to actually sell it. So landing page can sell your product, but also a sales funnel can sell your product. So it really depends on uh, what you're trying to do and think, what is your next goal? So take the simplest path. So if you uh, really need just one pager, just do it. Don't worry about any platform, just use what you have, even if it's not perfect. It's much Im more important that you start and then you make it perfect. You can always improve it. You can always take your landing page and you know uh, migrate it to your website later on when it gets traction. Once you know what goal you have, it's a bit easier to pick a tool to achieve it. For websites, you have website builders. For sales funnels and landing pages, you have countless tools as well. Pretty much all tools that have email marketing will also have landing pages, uh, some sort of a landing page builder. But without understanding what each tool is best at, you will either pay for, for features you don't need or you waste time trying to come up with workarounds. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn the best website builders and this video right here for the best sales uh, funnel builders and I'll try to break it down by different needs like uh, price features and use case